I'm overwhelmed with some great markets as it is. That's enough for my members. We have so many great areas in Florida. It's the final frontier. Everywhere in Florida has exploded so much in the past few years. It's almost unaffordable now. Almost no cash flow properties available in Florida, except the one we have right now, except the six locations we have are still affordable, still cash flow. And those are Kid Coral, La Belle in Southwest Florida, Northport and Inglewood. What our north of uh, Cape Coral, north of uh, Southwest Florida, then Citrus Springs, one hour north of Tampa, great area, Jen, you, you can see it. Ocala, one hour north of uh, Central Florida, and Palm Coast, one hour south of Jacksonville, and the uh, four packs new construction we have in Jacksonville. Those six or seven locations are in the final path of growth. I'm telling you, okay, we might live final frontier. Have you guys watched Star Trek? Yes. Final Frontier. You're going where no man has gone. I recorded that video, upcoming video coming to your email. That's the theme of that next video. Final Frontier because the, the market we have, I see it again. The six or seven locations I just disclosed to you, this is the final chance you can get that price right now from our Southern Impression Homes and from Justin Zawatney from the Southwest Bar. This is it. If you wait one more year, if you wait two more years before you buy this type of homes in this current market, those are final frontier sub market I just told you about. That's it. When the prices go up 10, 20, 30% in the next few years, I cannot promote that anymore. You cannot cash flow. Right now, final chance to get into Florida because Florida has grown so much. Because I used to promote those homes, simple family homes, new construction inside Tampa. Inside Jacksonville, inside Orlando, inside Cape Coral, three or four years ago. Now those prices have doubled or even tripled in value for the past three years. This is the last chance because if you don't do it now, those prices will skyrocket, especially when a mortgage rate comes down to 6% next few years. If the mortgage rate comes down to 6%, 5.5%, get what's going to happen. We can see a multiple bidding wars again. We can see bidding wars all over again, like we saw in 2021. You could miss the boat again. You see my video early this week? You missed the boat because you did not buy in 2019, 2022. I know Ares did. I know Julie did. You boy, during the pandemic, you guys achieved 30, 40, 50% appreciation in near two years. So good for you. You guys did not miss the boat. You do not buy the Florida new bills right now based on current pricing and current building incentive, will miss the boat. I'm not going to say we're guarantee. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not a fortune teller. But my data, my trends will tell you this is the final frontier. No more. Just don't, no more areas of Florida you can buy anymore because they're running out of new markets. The remaining of the markets we have on the cities I just told you, they are the last frontier of Star Trek. Last frontier. It's the best price you can get ever. You wait six months, you wait a year, and you're going to regret it because prices are going up and we're not going to promote those markets anymore in the foreseeable future. So this is the last opportunity. Even you mentioned that you bought some property in Ocala, right? Yes. Easy to rent. My property increased 30% in appreciation in Ocala this past year. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. The people migrating, the all those Florida people, the locals, They've been priced out of their local market. So they have moved inland. They have moved into the suburbs. That's what's happening in Florida. People migrating from the Northeast, New York, New Jersey area. People migrating from California into Florida because of sunshine, whatever. Massive migration. And too many people moving to Florida, driving up a lot of prices. Look at Miami. Look at South Florida. Their property values have absolutely exploded. Miami, Florida, like they have multi million dollar homes now. Look, in time today, these are very challenging times, but we all know that, right? All kind of negative headlines. I'm concluding this. All kind of negative headlines. We've been bombarded by daily negative news. Oh, housing crash, housing corruption, research and inflation, all this crappy stuff. Ignore all the noise. Focus on your individual action plan. Buy the right kind of property in the right location. Surround yourself with the right team. Invest for long term. Get some positive cash flow, 25% down payment, and stay the course. Don't worry about the stupid, idiotic headlines out there. Most of it are just very misleading, very inaccurate, very clickbait. YouTube readings out there, crash bros, crash porn, that will destroy people's mindsets. Learn impressions are the one giving this uh, two-year property management and uh, incentive, right? Oh, absolutely. Much yeah. more than that. <laughs> Much. Yeah.
much more incentive than I would just I just discussed. It. You're not getting any kind of deal. It's a total deal. Fraud is number one, but all my markets are great. Okay, you can we have the money diversify across all our network market. Why feel but when New York, why feel Alabama, why feel Florida, why feel Central Texas? If you have the money, do it consistently, do it aggressively because the market will turn around. The market has already turned around nationwide. So things are heating up. Things are heating up. We get in early right now, little less competition right now. You could be sitting pretty because when the market turns around soon, you guys will, will, will be in great shape. Makes sense. How do we find this? You contact them directly. The Southern Home with the, what is that? The How do you get the inventory? Don't worry. I got you covered. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Any other last minute thoughts? Anything last minute? I do have a question, maybe for Julie mm-hmm. and Erez. Now that your properties have grown in value, have refinanced and taken out any of the equity to roll into another property? No, we haven't done that. That is definitely something that could be a possibility but at this point. We're just, like they say in Vegas, letting it ride. But yeah, we're working really to pay off the loans. They're all relatively small loans. So we're really trying to work to pay off the loans to just free those up. But yeah, but that's always a possibility, Pam. Thank you for the question. Oh, Pam, you, Pam, you got to realize that refinance is not a free money. If you refinance, you got to pay it off. And today with the high interest rates, which are not fixed, by the way. So if you refinance, your loan is not fixed. Uh, and, and that might be dangerous. Everyone for their own considerations. But for myself, I, I don't like to take high risk. I, I use, I did pay down 25% of the property. And one of the big things is that, and this is the big leverage, that the interest rate is fixed for the life of the loan. Refinance is not. So there is a risk for when you when you take the money out of a property and use it somewhere else. You got to run the numbers. The best person to run the numbers is Richard Advani. He will crunch all the numbers whether it makes sense to refinance. Yeah, when you refinance, you have to pay back the loan, higher um, payment. But then the money you use for the refinance, it all depends how well you can put those refinance money to good use. If you use the, the, the cash out refinance money to good use by great, Lots of cash flow, such as properties in my network. It may make sense. So it all depends, right? You have to justify anything else. Consult with your team. Consult with your financial advisor. Consult with your trusted team so they can run the number for you. So they give you options, strategies, what's best for you. Okay? So every situation is very different. It's something they should think about doing, especially when you have so much equity on your rental properties. It's okay maybe to give up the low, uh, low mortgage rate. Because you're leveraging your equity to buy multiple properties. So over time, the numbers still work if you refinance the right way. But if you have a primary home, if you have a lot of equity primary home, if you have no other financial resources, then I wouldn't risk it, right? Those people need to be cautious. It all depends on individual situation, your risk tolerance, your goals, your objective, all those things to determine. Okay, am I right? Really appreciate you attending this Zoom club meeting, if you will, we can do probably at least two meetings per month. I I need to invite more of my members to come back to be more engaging where too many people are sitting on the sideline the past few years. A lot of my members are similar. There's not enough of you have enough motivation and inspiration to get back in the game. I don't know why. Probably it's not because of me and my network. No, because of you. Absolutely. Yeah, I wish. My only regret is we don't have more money right now, but we will. That's the mindset. That's the motivation we need to have right now. When there's a crisis, there's an opportunity. There's never a wrong time to buy. The winners are all the people that invest in all types of market. Does not matter. The winners of this housing market, like you guys, you buy regardless of market conditions. You have to do it right, right? And through my sources, through my network, through my consulting, I feel you're doing it right. So don't let the, all the negative line affect you because they are nothing chatter. They're nothing but irrelevant. You should not use the headlines out there, what's going on to affect your financial goals. That's my takeaway. Julie, you have one final takeaway. I wish more your husband was there. He's a great closer. Figure out what your goal is because everybody's goal is different. Like we weren't coming in to flip and do like property brothers or whatever. He just really wanted some income property to help sustain us 
throughout our retirement. Whatever your goal is, just do it. I don't know how to say that any different. Just do it. If you have the funds in place, your credit is great. You can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Everybody knows that. We are, most of us live in California. You can't go wrong with property. Definitely here, but really anywhere. Because it's always going to go up. And my thing is this. Whether the value goes up or down, it doesn't matter because the tenants are still there. The tenants are still there. If the property value doesn't go down, they don't move. It doesn't matter unless you're doing it to flip and buy and flip and whatever, 1031, whatever. If you're looking to do all, that's a different strategy. Not that you can't do that, but that wasn't our strategy. For what our strategy is, it works. It's working. And we're looking to do more. My husband's got about five or six more years to work, so we got some time to be able to get some more properties to grow our inventory a lot higher. And that's really our goal. I want to encourage you guys that are thinking about it, sidelined about it. Call me if you have questions. I know Seawind's always available. That's the other thing I would say if you're afraid or you're concerned. I, mean, I think most of us here have worked with Seawing, but Seawing is always available. He's always available. Unless he, and if he's going away, he'll tell you, I'm going to be out of the country for a few days, but I'll be back. Or if you have an emergency, text me. And so that to me was added value because you don't want to hire a mentor and then you never see him. Seawing was like, he responds by text. He'll do a video chat with you. I know he was even doing in-person meetings, but he lives so far away from us. We weren't going to the in-person meetings, but it was, it's just valuable. Even what he's doing now is valuable because I'm learning still. I still feel, even though we own six properties, I still feel like I'm a new investor and there's so much more to learn. What Aaron said and the other gentleman, it's invaluable. Just these types of meetings are invaluable because you know that you're not alone. So don't be afraid. Just do it. Like the Nike commercial. Just do it. Wow. Julie, yeah, you've been such a blessing. You have too. Thank you. For the network and you're the poster child. I don't know if you can see my t-shirt. I'm sorry. When you said blessed, my t-shirt said blessed beyond measure. Exactly how I feel. That's how my husband and I feel. Sea wing was a gift from God because we didn't know the first thing about anything. But when we were ready. God brought him around us, and it's been a great journey. We will continue on this journey as long as we can. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you, all of you, Jen, Eris, Cassandra, Pam, Dwar, for attending. And I will edit the recording of this video piece by piece, and you guys will get a copy. Thank you for attending. Appreciate it. Good luck to your great long-term journey. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. This is CWA. Have a nice day. See you guys next time. Nice to see everyone smiling. I'm smiling too, as in the picture. They're all happy. <laughs>